For this lesson, we're going to be putting some concentration on the distributive law, that property that we took a brief look at before, but now we're going to look at specifically as it relates to the minus signs. And the minus sign being in front of a set of parentheses says that this is an operator. That negative sign is going to operate on every sign that appears inside the set of parentheses. So when we look at the terms that are inside, we see a term right there with an assumed positive sign on it. And we see a term that is right here. And we see a term that is there. And this negative sign then says because the parentheses are there, that this has to change that positive sign to its opposite. And the opposite of a positive is a negative. And then we just copy down the term itself. We've done the operation of changing that positive to a negative. Now, this one says it has to distribute or go to the next one that's in the parentheses, the next sign, and change that sign to its opposite. And the opposite of a positive is a negative. And then we copy down the rest of the term. Then we come back and say, now this negative sign has to operate on the next sign that's in the parentheses, which is that negative, And it changes it to its opposite which is a positive, and bring down the 4. And now, essentially, the parentheses have disappeared, and so has the minus sign, because it's already done its work. You wouldn't want to leave it there, because then it would say, change some more, and it's already done all of its changing. So this line is equal to that line. Now, if we look at the other board, we see that there is another situation, and this time we have two sets of parentheses. And then the first case, we say that this minus sign is going to operate on whatever's inside that set of parentheses. So we put an assumed positive on that term and circle it. And we circle that one. And now we say this sign has to change that much and no farther. Don't change anything past that. So this negative changes that positive to its opposite, which is a negative x. This operator, the negative, changes that sign to its opposite, which is a negative, and bring down the y. Now, this has done its work. The parentheses are gone. I don't show that anymore, and don't show this negative sign anymore. Now we move to the next part, and just keep following in line. And we say, this is an assumed positive on that term, and we circle the second term. And then we do the operation. We say this will change whatever's inside those parentheses. The opposite of a positive is a negative x, bringing the x down. And then this operator will work on that second sign, changing the minus to its opposite, which is a positive. And then we bring down the y. And then we say the first line is equal to the second line. And now I will group my terms together. So here's the first term, second term, third term, fourth term. And we combine what we can together. This was a assumed one in front of the x, an assumed one in front of the y, an assumed one in front of the x, an assumed one in front of that y. So we say, what are the like terms? The x's are alike because they are the same letter with the same exponent of a 1 being up here on each. So we can combine those, a negative 1x and a negative 1x. Then we say these are also like terms because they're both y's. They're both to the first power. So we say we will put those together. We bring this one down as a minus y1, minus 1y, and a positive 1y. Cross those out and use them all. Now when we combine. We start from our 0 and go negative 1, and then also go negative 1 more, and we're at negative 2x. And then when we look at the y's, we say I start at 0, I go negative 1, and then it says go positive 1, and I'm back to 0. That says that I have 0 y's. Well, I could just put down here a 0 y. But when you multiply 0, remember there's a multiply in here. When you multiply 0 times anything, you get 0. So essentially, it just isn't there at all. And so we don't need it. You just wipe it out. So the answer to 
all of this worked out is just a negative 2x as a solution. And I think that on this other board, if you'll notice, that this had an x term in it, this had a y term in it, and this had a constant. Those could not combine. So many times when you're working a problem, your final solution is just like that. You cannot combine anything together. There are no like terms. Nothing can be simplified at all. That's as far as you can go.